dear students how are you all i hope everyone is fine so do you remember which lesson we have started we have started lesson magnet am i right in the last video we have discussed about the properties of a magnet there are the four properties of the magnet so can you just recall which property which we have discussed the first property is attractive property attractive property means what the material there are some material which attract towards a magnet that property is called as an attractive property then the next we have discussed about a directive property what is the second property directive property i have told you the story about a chinese yes or no the europe european use the stone they they name that stone as a load stone which is used to find the direction am i right then the third property which is the third property can you just tell me the third property is attraction and repulsion there are some now if you will see you have seen the magnet am i right it, the magnet has two poles which are that pole north and south pole if the opposite poles the if the opposite poles are bring i have are bring together then they will attract the opposite poles always attract each other why like poles like uh, north and north if they will uh, if we will bring them together then they will repel each other the same pole will repel each other they will move away from each other while opposite poles will attract each other are you getting then we have discussed the last prop uh, last property that is poles always exits in a pair means what if you will break a magnet into the two equal part it will always exits in a pair and again if still if we will uh, divide that poles into if you will cut the magnet again into the small equal part it will always shows the two poles that is north and south now the thing is that how to apply in today's video we are going to discuss how to apply that property in our day to day life what we are going to do today how to apply this properties are the uh, this all are the properties of the magnet but how to apply in our day to day life how to use them that we are going to learn that we are going to learn the first is magnetic compass you might have seen the magnetic compass see what is this magnetic compass yes or no this is the instrument used to measure or used to find the direction this is a magnetic compass which is used to find the direction it consists of small bar magnet it consists of small bag, bar magnet in the form of the needle which is enclosed which is enclosed in the small box having a glass top the needle is free to move about its center the base of a box is marked with a direction if you will see the there are the different directions are uh, shown on that compass yes or no north south east west northeast northwest southeast southwest am i right have you observed that magnetic compass yes so it works on the principle of we have learned the properties just guess which property yes it works on the principle of directive property this magnetic compass it works on the principle of directive property this the first deflection the first deflection of the magnetic compass was found by the scientist has christian oster this the first deflection of the magnetic compass means first deflection it was found by the scientist has christian oster are you getting then the second principle the second application where the magnet where the property we can use that is electromagnet can you just tell me now if you will see electromagnet the word 
itself tells you it consists of electro means electricity and magnet it is the combination of electricity and a magnet what happens actually we do you remember in the last video we have done one activity that we have taken one bar magnet and we have dropped, we have made a magnet i have told you i have told you how to make a magnet yes yes or no so like that it works on the principle and this was formed by the scientist this faraday this was formed by the scientist faraday what actually happens when uh, if you will take a nail and if you will wind some copper wire this and if you will join this to the cell and one switch then when when an electricity when a current will flow when a current will flow through it to this coil it will behave like a magnet and if you will keep some uh, material like ma material which is attracted towards a magnet if you will keep some nail or some iron filling here they will attract towards this nail when the electricity will pass through this when we will apply the electric current to pass through it it this nail will behave like a magnet this nail will behave like a magnet i have shown you the activity in the last video we have done the activity in the last video the iron it was behaving like a magnet yes or no so but, but there we have not found any uh, we have not passed any current but here when we pass a current to this electro uh, to this coil it will behave like a magnet as the current will stop as the current will stop this will become uh, this will this will not behave like a magnet are you getting this will not behave like a magnet now can you just recall where we can use this concept of electromagnet in our day to day life can you just can you guess up there are some material or there are there are some object around you which will behave like a which will work on the principle of the electromagnet can you just recall just find it so today's work will be that so just find where this principle of the electromagnet is used where this principle of electromagnet is used in the next video i will discuss the where this principle is used and how it is used are you getting so today's work is that you have to read this lesson uh, you have to go through the magnetic compass read once again remove the notes on it thank you